Hi. Last year in summer, I came home and wanted to jump in the pool because it was hot. But what had happened was that the water level had dropped below the height of the filter, and as a result, I ended up with this horrible green pool. This year, I bought an automated water leveler, and basically what happens is you plug your hose in to fill the pool, and it won't overfill, which is really great. The trouble is, I don't want to have the hose turned on the whole time, and that means I still need something to remind me to do this. The other issue is, in winter, we have another problem where the water level can get too high. I hope you can see it there, it's right up at the edge. So I'm thinking, could we, could we have an electronic solution that lets me know if the water level is too low or too high, and as much as possible automates the process of getting it right. So what I'm currently thinking is maybe I use like a little ESP32 uh, and have it hooked up to the house Wi-Fi and then it somehow can send notifications. Or the other possibility is like an ESP32 cam and then I might be able to have a picture of the pool as well so I can see what's going on. And then in terms of the actual detection, uh, what I'm thinking is to have maybe four or five levels of wires kind of going into sense and then if it's like below this bottom one we need to fill. If it's above the top one, hey, I need to empty the pool a bit, and if it's anywhere in the middle point of those other two here, then no, nothing to do. So the, the actual water detection circuit, this is a simple example of it. It's just a single transistor. You put, uh, put your wires in the water, and hey, we've got detection of the water. It's a very simple circuit. Um, basically, tiny current going through the base um, turns on the transistor which then lights the light or in this case is going to be then detected by the SP32 and I've got this here driving with 3.3 volts so this circuit should work if it's driven by the one of the pins of the SP32 for power. Just giving you a quick test with driving it from the 3.3 volt pin from the SP32 and it looks all good. So taking it to the next level, what I've done is I've found uh, this digital input pull-up sample sketch um, in the Arduino uh, SP32 set uh, under examples and then if we look at digital we can see digital input pull-up and if we run that code basically what it's going to do is output a 1 or a 0 to the serial monitor based on whether we've got a high or low input on pin number two. So I've put this wire onto um, pin number two, and then from there, it's going to the, the low side of the LED pin. If we start the serial monitor, you can see at the moment that we're getting just ones, and if I put the wire in the water, I get zeros. So the ESP32 can now detect that there's water. So I said before I wanted to have multiple uh, wires to, to detect in the water so here we've got the same circuit repeated four times and it's hooked up to the ESP32. Here's the whole rig set up so I'm going to put the power line into the water and then I've got a bunch of different levels here four of them are hooked up to the, the circuit. And as you can see depending on the depth the lights light up. For a first prototype, what I've done is I've just cable tied this onto the um, the water dispenser. Um, I think we're probably going to have a lot of trouble with corrosion of the wires and other bits and pieces, but this is a first attempt to see how it goes.